Hey guys, as the title suggests, we are here to look at this Smith & Wesson 529-1. I did, I do rather have another video online at the range and it was dusk and it was a little tough to see how clean this thing is, but it's really, um, I'd rate it 97, 98%. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder and to me it's 110%. So. Smith & Wesson 529-1 A lot. I'm trying to get any oil and stuff off it for the sake of the video, but gosh, everything really multiplies itself in this camera. I'm in my basement using my phone. But anyway, this is Smith & Wesson 529-1 manufactured. I think I looked it up. I, I forget it. It's probably in my other video when I just got it. I think it was uh, like an 85 produced, 85, 86, something like that. What a shooter. Makes a marksman out of me. I have been getting a lot of practice in. I have been. And my shooting is getting um, a lot better again. I have some shoulder issues, so I had to almost reinvent my style. Um, I think I got something down right now that's working for me. This gun... The serial number, I find it amusing and great that it starts with Bravo, Alpha, Delta, bad. That's just on par with what I think of the gun. Lock up, on par with any of my other Smith & Wessons. Just that little bit of play, but I've never had a timing issue with it. Really a great gun. The trigger, single action is, is just impeccable. I'm not a snob about uh, dry fire, so I put a uh, gauge on there. I think it was like around three, and the double, of course, you can't read. But I don't do that a million times, so all those people who think that I'm going to wreck my gun, I usually have snap caps in it, and I, you know, I don't know where they are, to be honest with you. Oh, I know where they are. They're in my Ruger. They're my Ruger GP. I put all six of them in there, and I was, I'm was i just shooting that about a million times, trying to get that trigger to break and loosen up some. But this doesn't need a thing. Smith, Smith & Wesson 586-1. Thanks for watching.